Now, homocysteine, what is it? Okay, everybody says, well, what is homocysteine? Well, it's a byproduct of living and breathing. Right, if so we're all going to have some. We're, yeah, we've got it. Okay, you're going to have homocysteine. The key is it's a highly oxidized or highly reactive molecule as homocysteine. So it's going to do a lot of damage, or could do a lot of damage, especially to the arteries and veins. If it bumps into something, it's trying to steal electrons, it's going to, it's going to hurt something. That's why we want to get rid of it. We can't get rid of it, but what we can do is lower it. And what all the science is telling us now, and this is a lot of research over many, many years, really, is that it needs to be below 8 microvol. And so it needs to be below that. If it's, say, 10 or 12, still within range. Now, right? you mentioned just a minute ago about lowering homocysteine. It's actually more about reducing. So you actually take it and turn it into methionine. Right. And methionine causes no problems. Right. So why do some people turn it into methionine and some people do not? Genetics. It's usually a genetic mutation yep. where you don't have that ability to reduce it from homocysteine to methionine. So therefore, it builds up. We even see teenagers. I've seen 12-year-olds, 15-year-olds with really high homocysteine because they do have the genetic mutation in their family. And what that is, there's a few of them that do it. There's mm -hmm. actually more than one genetic mutation.